Hey there, fellas. So, right here I've got this lovely car, which is very aerodynamic. It actually kind of looks like a rocket-powered sled. Rocket is the key word in this equation. The look of the thing is sorted. And now we just need to make it go like it looks. Now, we have recently experimented with jet propulsion. We have a couple of these cylinders. We have a car. And let's get to it. For starters, we'll be fitting five cylinders to this car's roof and creating enormous pressure inside of them. Each of these cylinders that are on the roof can be pressurized up to 300 atmospheres. The welds are not as strong, though. We are about to start work on a 5 to 1 exhaust manifold. We took some pipe, initially machined a few of these threaded flanges, but we felt that they wouldn't have enough flow, and so we'll be welding the pipes straight to these cylinders. Okay, so this jet engine of ours is mounted square on the roof, that's all good. We've secured the cylinders from which we've removed the valves. Instead, we have a pipe coming off of each cylinder. We've joined all of those together. Now we just need to connect a nozzle to them. Here we have it right here. We'll weld this onto the manifold. Over here we'll have a valve. Now, to fill the cylinders with water, we need a filler neck. For the purpose, we're using a big nut, which I'm now going to weld up. You might recall that using just air is not as efficient as if you were to add some water. Now, that makes for a supremely powerful jet stream. When you've got something in there with a bit more density, such as water and yam. Let's continue piecing all of this together, and very soon I gather we'll get to try it out, let's go. So, look, we've done all of the welding, filled the cylinders with air. There is some pressure in them. And now let's try purging them. Oh, it almost even set off. But it was only about three kilos of pressure in there. And the idea was to purge the system and get rid of any contamination that might have found its way inside. Blow it out of there. What sort of pressure can our air compressor that we got upstairs generate? About 8 kilos. So let's put 8 kilos of pressure into the system and see how it's going to behave. Let's go. Okay, we filled it up. Let's try this out. That was a bit lacking, I think. Or maybe it's just time to add some water into the mix. To increase the power of our jet stream. We are now filling it with water. To then check and see how effective the system is with water inside of it. Same conditions as before, but with water added. Let's go. It was a valiant effort. But we need to think this over. We're making a nozzle with a venturi effect. We are using water pipe adapters, incrementally going from smaller to larger diameter, piecing them together to make a cone shape. Yeah. 
We've added a bit of extra pressure. We haven't measured it, but I think it's about 15 kilos. 12, 13, 15 or thereabouts. But let's try it out. Let's go! Well, it moved. A slight increase in the pressure, and now the thing moves. Let's keep increasing it. We've brought the pressure up even more. It is now at 30 kilos. Let's see how it's able to drive. Let's go. Why did you get the Lexus out of the way? I think if we bring it up to 50, it'll even get up this hill. Another experiment we want to try. You will see that we've tied it down. We've hooked up a scale, and the pressure is now at 50 kilos per cubic centimeter. And we just want to measure how much force the system can exert. Let's go! So you would have just seen it yank the car. As soon as the water started flowing. You can hear that there's plenty of pressure, but since all of the water had come out, it might not have been generating as much thrust. But let's have a look at where the scale peaked. Or it was 600, but here it's dropping. That looks like 800. 813. Anyway, so the action camera fell off the scale, but we had other cameras rolling. And the figures we saw were pretty impressive. Like, holy cow. But it was pretty clear even just by looking that it was producing around 600 kilos of thrust. Which is quite a lot. Are we ready? Here we go then. Three, two, one. Holy moly. I have a feeling something might have frozen. But the way it ripped from the start. It veered from the packed surface, but even in the snow it was ripping through. The pipes are covered with frost. I counted 77 steps, which makes for about 77 meters, give or take. But that launch, man. That was 100 kilos per cubic centimeter, and that was mighty impressive. Okay, guys, you would have just seen how the thing slingshotted, and we're actually quite shocked ourselves. And I think we'd better stay away from this for a little while. 100 kilos per cubic centimeter is not to be scoffed at. Now, I'm sure that some of you know how this sort of stuff works. And if you do, hit us up, please. What have we done wrong? What do we need to revise? Given the right compressor, we can bring the pressure up to 300 kilos. It is a pretty terrifying prospect, but I think that together we can figure this out. For now, that's all I got for you. You saw the results for yourselves? Hopefully we've earned a like from you. But that's it for this video. Catch you guys later.